this week. Today's topic for Moby Dick, drum roll please, is the e-corner module and the in-wheel system. I'm guessing you've probably never heard of an e-corner module or the in-wheel system before, but that's okay. The Mobis teachers I met today said that even adults don't know much about this technology either. So that's why I'm here today. The e-corner module and the in-wheel system are new concepts of wheel systems. It is a technology that will be widely used in electric vehicles and future autonomous cars. Let me start with the in-wheel system. To put it simply, it's like a robot wheel. You know that a typical internal combustion car has an engine, and a typical electric vehicle has a motor, which rotates the wheel and makes the car move forward or backward. But you also know that these main engine or electric vehicle motor takes up a great chunk of space in the car. If you get rid of the engine or a motor, imagine how spacious your car can become. It's so spacious, right? But where do we put the motor then? The cars won't move by itself without the driving motor. How about inside the wheel? Do you see where I'm getting at? Yes, the in-wheel system means you have the motor inside the wheel. Putting a motor into each wheel of the car can produce enough power to move the car. But not just that. Since each wheel have its own driving motor, they can be controlled independently. This is called torque vectoring. Imagine if one wheel drove into a puddle on a rainy day. The remaining three wheels can boost up power to rescue the one in the puddle. Also, giving more power to selected wheels can make the car rotate 360 degrees. Isn't that cool? But you don't need to have all four wheels to have the in-wheel system. You can also apply two in-wheel systems to a regular two-wheel driving car. What do you think this will do? Yes, your two-wheeler just turned into an all-wheel drive car just by adding two in-wheel systems. Do you know the hydrogen car Nexo advertised by BTS? Well, this is a two-wheeler too. But if you add the two in-wheel systems, it can become much more powerful. This tech is almost ready for market, so you will see this happening very soon in the near future. Now let's talk about the e-corner module. This is simply a mother version of the in-wheel system with much more functions. Having the in-wheel system packaged with brakes, steering, and suspension makes up what we call the e-corner module. But why do we call it the e-corner module? Well, first, it's powered by electricity. And these all-in-one packaged module are positioned at each corner of the car. Pretty simple, right? But why package the essential functions together, such as motor, brakes, steering, and suspension and make an e-corner module. One, it gives more flexibility to engineers when designing a car. Two, it can provide roomier space for passengers. And here's the real cool thing. With an e-corner module, you can move your car sideways just like a crab. This is possible because each e-corner modules are independently attached and it's free from steering column and all the other parts so it can freely rotate in any angle. This will be so useful when you want to park the car in a narrow spot. If you want more information about the e-corner module, make sure to check out this video. How did you like today's Moby Dick? I'll be back with more cool technologies. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Bye!